Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I work for Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines and today we are going to learn how to make a mini duct tape boat. Uh, this can actually uh, float in water and you can even uh, challenge uh, a family member to a race in the tub or in my case I'm going to use uh, my wash tub in my laundry room. So, but first we're going to learn how to build uh, duct tape boat. So materials that you're going to need is a scissors, um, some duct tape, and if you don't have duct tape you can use packing tape and even possible uh, just regular scotch tape that you use to like wrap Christmas presents and stuff like that. You will also need a ruler or in my case I am using a tape me measure and then you're going to also need a pencil and a cardboard box or something um, that is sturdy uh, enough. You can use, use paper, but it's not going to be as sturdy. Um, so you want some type of cardboard. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is measure out your pieces on your cardboard box. Um, there are five parts to your boat. The first part is going to be the bottom. There's going to be two sides. And then there's going to be a front and a back. Now the bottom piece you want to be about 2 inches by 4 inches. So you'll use your tape measure to measure out 2 inches by 4 inches. And then um, trace that or draw the lines. And then cut, cut it out. And then your sides and your back can be whichever size you want. In my case, um, I made the back the same size as the, uh, as the back of the... The, the bottom and the sides are just a little bit shorter and then the front I made it so that you can bend it All right and then there's just a few other extra uh, pieces that you can have there'll be the extra pieces um so that you can build like maybe like a, a top or maybe some seating with inside a steering wheel um like my boat for instance I gave it a little canopy so that you can have some uh shade from the sun. So this is just an example. All boats are different and uh, all boats have their own personality. So what we're going to first do is I'm going to take, in my case, I'm going to take the bottom and then first, and here we go. I'm going to make it so that you can see it hopefully. And here's the bottom. And then I'm going to take my duct tape. Just my duct tape and I'm going to find the edge and peel the piece back and what I want to do first is cover the bottom of the boat the idea is that you want all your cardboard to be covered because otherwise wet cardboard uh, gets mushy and it tends to make it unstable and sink and it takes on water so you want all parts of your cardboard covered so first um, if you aren't able to tear the duct tape with your hand like putting your thumb here and then pulling it back the other thing that uh, works really well is to pull it out put it on the table use your scissors use your scissors and cut your piece like that table out almost works as a third hand so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of duct tape and we're going to cover the edges first. So we're going to put it on the side and we're going to cover it up so that we get uh, the edge covered. So I'm going to use this other piece that I cut uh, before and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Basically you fold it over and in some cases your duct tape might actually cover both sides. So I got a little bit here showing so I'm going to cover that up Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the middle and go all the way around. I'm going to go all the way around my cardboard. Uh oh, you gotta be careful so your duct tape doesn't stick to itself. If that happens, try and pull it apart, and if it doesn't pull apart, rip it off and start again with a new piece. Alright, 
So now we've got it all covered. So we're going to tear it off so that we don't waste any duct tape. We're going to make sure all of our parts of our board are covered. And I can see a little spot like right here. So you want to make sure that's even covered. Because uh, that's, that's where a little water will get in and make your boat all mushy. So I'm just going to use a little piece and put it on the corner of each side. Because it was on all four, all four corners that there was a hole. This is one of my uh, the sessions that we do hold at our Wilder family. Only we make them uh, a little bigger and use uh, squirt guns and uh, pools to put water in and then have uh, boat races that way. So, all right, so we got our base all covered. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our back on. So I got my back, all right? And we're gonna put it right up against, all right? So we're gonna put it right up against the back. We're gonna get a piece of duct tape the same length as the back. We're gonna cut it or tear it. And then I'm gonna put the duct tape Half of it on that I tore off, half of it onto the cardboard. So see how I have half of it still sticking out? Now we're going to apply it to the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to put the other half onto the bottom of our boat, or what I call the base sometimes. So we're going to put it on the bottom of the boat. And then we're going to stick it. So now it looks like this. It's going to lay flat. Then we're going to get another piece the same size and we're going to do the same thing where now we're going to stick it to the front of our back and we're going to stick half of it on again. Now this time we're... Alright, so we got our back attached to the one side and so now we're going to start and we're going to get it to stand up. So we're going to take our piece of duct tape we're going to apply half of it to the back and what we're going to want to do this time is hold this, the other side of the duct tape up. So when we bend it forward, then we can push it down and get a nice seal on that. Alright, so that it stays standing up. So now we got it where our boat back is standing up. Now what we want to do is cover the rest of the cardboard on that piece of, of our boat so that the water doesn't make it all soggy. I'm going to put half of it and cover all the cardboard on that one side and then we're going to flip it and we're just going to cover it up just like that. Now what we're going to do is apply one of our sides and what we're going to want to do is make it so that it's even with the back of the boat and we're going to get a piece of duct tape the same length as our side. And we're once again going to put half of the duct tape on the cardboard, like so. And we're going to hold that back. We're going to flip our boat over. We're going to put the back of the side with the back of the boat. You might want an adult for this part to just give you an extra hand. You're going to keep them flat. And you're going to push the duct tape to the bottom of the boat, the underside of the bottom of the boat. Now we're going to flip it over so that it's sitting upright. We're going to get another piece the same length as the side. We're once again going to put half the duct tape on the side. Oh, and we're going to hold that other side of that duct tape over. And then we're going to fold our side up. And we're going to push the duct tape down again. All right. So now we got our side, one side on. Now we're going to do the other side. Same steps as the other side. We're going to get a piece the same length. And if you want, you can tear two pieces or cut two pieces right away. That way you don't have to try and measure. 
So we're going to put half of it on the cardboard. We're again going to, and sometimes you could even maybe look at holding your boat like this and then setting it on there like this. That might be easier. So, and then you can push it down. All right. We're again going to do like we did before. We're going to put half of the duct tape on our side, holding that other side over like this with our finger. We're going to roll it up and then we're going to push it down. Now we're going to cover the rest of our sides with duct tape. So we're going to put half of it like this. And then since mine had some curves, you can push it into the curves so that it keeps those curvature shapes and then push it down. All right. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once again, going to put put it so it covers the cardboard, and then we're going to push the pieces down to fit the curvatures. All right, so we got our sides attached. Now what we're going to do is attach the sides to the back. So you're just going to need a piece that's the same height as the sides and the back and then you're going to squeeze them together and put duct tape on it all right i'm going to do the same thing over here so we'll see how we have it floppy we're just going to get a little bit of a about the same height there we go like this whatever it is size you have now we're going to do this again we're going to bring them together. All right. Now it's the front's turn. So we got a little bit of a, a bend in this. So that when we put it in here, like the, we're going to put it in so that it uh, has a little bit of an angle at the front. What we're going to do is we're going to start on one side of the angle. So we're only going to get a piece of duct tape about that size. And then we're going to Cut it. This is going to be the harder part. So what you might want to do is put it on there. Like so. Hold that part back. Stick it in where you want it to be. And fold it down. You can always clean up the edges afterwards. So we're going to get another piece for the other side. We're going to bend that in. This one becomes a little more tricky because now it's stuck in there. You can bend it out if you want to. So bend it out. And then bend it back in. Put your cardboard on. All right. All right. Now that we got the front attached, we are going to finish covering the cardboard so that no cardboard is showing. So we're gonna tear a piece, or cut a piece, I'm gonna attach it to the front and bend it over to the back side, like so. I'm gonna do another piece on the other side, attach it to the front, bend it over to the back side, Now your cardboard should be covered. Now we're just going to make sure that the front is secured to the side. So getting a little piece like so. I'm going to attach it to the side, half of it. And then we're going to attach the other half to the front. I'm going to get another piece for the other side. Do the same thing. Attach it to the side, about half of it, and then bend the other part over to the front. Any extra duct tape you can fold over like so. And now we got your basic boat shape. So um, you can add 
extra pieces. Uh, that's what uh, these extra pieces are for. So you can tape them off and then apply them. So like in this boat, I put a roof on it using different pieces. I put uh, a steering wheel and a seat and then some extra seating right here. And then even an extra seat, you can't really see it. Um, if I, maybe if I you can see it way back here, there's a, a seat back there. So now we're gonna take them to the sink and uh, float them and do a little bit of a race. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the water and then we're gonna blow on them to make them move, all right? So we're gonna put them in the water, and they float, and then we're gonna blow on them. Usually you do this with two people with two boats and you each blow on your own boat to race them. So, but the good news is they float. So when you're done, you can take them out, lay them on a towel to dry off, right? And that's how you make a mini duct tape boat. Remember, no two boats are alike. They all have their own unique personalities. So we would love to see your boats after they are finished in the, uh, you can post them in the comments area. Also, if you need time in between each step, please feel free to pause and then start back up again. I hope you enjoy making your boat and I can't wait to see what you have made. Thank you. Have a great day.